Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the CTA icon with a mouse hover element trigger. What we're going to be doing is hovering over our call to action button and we're going to play a Lottie icon animation in the background. You can see that as I hover over this button, the Lottie icon is playing quite large in the background. You can customize the placement and location of this. You can have this tiny in the corner, you can have it on one side, you can have it follow mouse movement and play based on the mouse location. You can have it show on a different element on the page. The idea is hovering over something and then playing this expanding circle animation. All right, let's see first the structure. I'm gonna move myself over here and we will open up the navigator to see that we have a CTA trigger that has the element trigger applied to it. And as children elements, we have our UI button and we have our CTA icon. And you can see that the CTA icon is set to absolute with a 50% top, 50% left, and then to maintain its center, we have a negative 50 horizontal, negative 50 vertical on a transform move. This is going to keep it always centered on the page and this is really useful for larger buttons. So hover over me, I'm a large button and if I go and do that, this animation is still going to be centered here. Great. So it's a more scalable effect, a more scalable structure so that you can accommodate all different types of button sizes. And great, let's get into the interactions. So we're going to go up to our CTA trigger and see its element trigger mouse hover. And when we click on this, we'll see that we have CTA click and hover. Our mouse click example uses the same exact timed animation. You can use the same timed animation and change the element trigger. It is really useful for maintaining a unified feel for your site and also not having to create multiple timed animations that are doing the same thing. So we're using the same one for both. We're even using a different icon, but the same, the same timed animation. Let's go into the first step. We have, this is not scrolling down. I'm gonna zoom out temporarily. And we have a Lottie 0%. And we have a second step of 100%. So it's going from 0% to 100%. And notice how we have a duration of zero seconds here on the first step and a duration of 0.5 seconds on the second step. This set to initial state is only going to play the animation once. So if I go and load this and I go and hover, you'll see that it continues to play. If I turn this to initial state, it's only going to play once. Only played that one time and that's it. So the reason for that is when we go to 100%, we need to actually go back to 0%. And if we have this as initial state, it's just going to go to 100%. And then when you go and hover it again, there's nowhere to go from 100%. So this is resetting back to 0%. Nice. And that, oh, let's also make sure that we have this selected only children with this class. We don't want it to be on all classes, this all elements with this class. We don't want this because we only want this Lottie icon animation to play for this call to action button, not all the call to action buttons on the page. So we have only children. This just disconnected itself. Let's go and reset this. And I think, eh, nice. Okay, there we go. We are good to go. And that is how you apply the CTA icon with a mouse hover element trigger. That's effing sweet.